Hi, I'm Julie Hip, and I am the mom of Paul, who's 25 now. He was diagnosed on the autism spectrum at age two and a half. We've been on the journey um, within the autism navigation for over 22 years, and I really just hope that people have a greater awareness. I think we've come a long way since Paul was young that they understand when you meet someone with autism that there's so much that they bring to the world, um, so many warm and genuine skills, and, and sometimes they may have a tough time with communication, but to just give it some time, right, and get to know the person. We embrace autism, and it's, it's changed our lives for the better. We're much more understanding of all people, right, and, and that what they can bring to each day. Everyone is different, and, and I didn't know this was going to happen, you know, when, it, when we were diagnosed, and it was a brand new day for us. So I would just hope that they have a, a broader understanding that um, our lives and our approach are different, but our inner, you know, needs and wants are, are the same, right? And just to have that acceptance, to be loved and to just be understood. Lots of moments, I mean, there were a lot of times, particularly when he was young and not quite verbal and was frustrated and would have meltdowns in the store or wherever where people might not understand why the behavior was happening. And to understand that behavior and what's kind of causing it um, and to just offer, you know, maybe an understanding versus a judgment is would be welcome because we got through it all and we're in a great place today. Paul is, you know, almost independent. He drives, thanks to my dad, um, and he lives a great life. It was, but it took a lot of steps to get to where we are today and we're still on the journey. It's definitely a lifelong. But it, those moments made us better. Um, and as his communication got better, it got easier. My dad was John Baxa. He was a teacher at Lyman Hall High School for many, many years, but he also owned Modern Driving School, and he taught for 50 years, actually. He passed away a few years ago, but I, I miss my dad very much, and he was instrumental in helping Paul learn to drive. It takes a lot longer for folks on the spectrum to learn certain things, and he drove with him for a year and a half, nonstop and taught him all the nuances that just wouldn't have happened as a natural course of a typical instruction. We have been around for over 20 years and we're here for them, whether they have young children or adults. We train a lot of professionals and families so they know what to do under many circumstances from educational training to even emergency response. We train police officers, so if they come in contact with someone in an emergency situation, they'd know how to or not how to communicate with our folks. Um, and we do integrated recreation, a lot of advocacy. We develop resources across the state. We're here in New Haven County mostly, but we do work across the state. So to please call us if you're in need, and we will help you navigate where you need to go. We've done training against bullying. We have gone into schools so that people understand what to look for for younger folks with autism. They don't mean to do the things that might be interpreted, right? They're not trying to to make, you know, more noise or whatever, and they get bullied for all the wrong reasons. Go in to help understand what autism is 101 to try to get ahead of the bullying. We don't like to have to go in and intercept something that's already happened. We try to get ahead of the curve as much as we can. We have a resource guide, which is phenomenal. It's probably the best thing on our website, and it's decades of us putting this stuff together so people have a one-stop shopping. It's very hard. There's so many um, interventions that you might want to look at. It's a great website, and you can go for free to look up what you might need for doctors or sensory integration or health or nutrition, it's all on there. We do have our training, we have our recreation schedules so you can see what your child may or may not want to participate in. Um, we have a resource fair in November and that's somewhere where you can come and actually talk to people about what you need. It changes over time. What you need when they're three and what you need when they're 17 are very, very different.